Today, we are going to learn how to cut shapes into your 3D model using nothing but the slicer. For a functional example using these tools, I am then going to make a hole between his forehead to turn him into a Christmas ornament. In the past, to do something such as making a hole in a model, you might use a 3D program such as Mesh Mixer and using Boolean Difference. This is a royal pain in the behind, and thanks to advancements in 3D printer slicers, we can do this right here, right now, in our studio or Orca slicer. To get started, drag a model onto your plate. I am going to use my favorite little test doggy, and we are going to make a Christmas ornament out of him by putting a hole right here between his eyebrows. Obviously, he is not the best candidate for this because his head is so fat, but I don't care. We are going to do it anyway because I like him. The first thing you are going to want to do is switch to Objects View. If you do not switch to Objects View, Bamboo Studio will do it for you and remind you to do that in the future. To demonstrate this, we will go back to Global and right-click on Doggo. This menu will pop up and you will see add negative part. Scrolling over to cylinder, I'm going to choose that by left clicking. And you will see it has now switched to objects view and a little green arrow pointed to it. It blinked about three times to remind me that this is where I want to be. And you will see it also reminded me with an on-screen notification. If you'd like to turn this off so it doesn't remind you in the future, just check the box and press OK. So you will see it placed a cylinder next to your model and it's already selected. We are going to orientate this model into our dog and cut out the difference to make our hole. To do that, you will navigate just like you would any other model, but now you'll notice this shape does not snap to the bed. If you were to choose the doggy, and raise the doggy up, you'll see the doggy snaps to the bed. However, your new shape will not, it will float so that you can put it where you want it. First thing I'm going to do is get it in position and then we're going to size it. To rotate your model, you can simply click on R or click on the rotate icon right here. To do a 90 degree rotation, you can simply go to the axis you want and type in 90 and hit enter. Or you can grab this arrow right here and rotate. If you rotate from far away, you will see it lets you do very small adjustments. However, if you bring your mouse in to the white notches, you will see it snaps to those white notches. And we can go ahead and snap to 90. If you wanted, for example, 91, just bring your mouse down and make a much smaller adjustment. But we are going to go back to 90. And here is our cylinder. As you can see, it's way too fat. We don't want this giant hole in our dog's head, so we're gonna make it smaller. To rescale, you know you can click right here or press the S key. Currently, we have it set to uniform scale. This is not something we want because as we try to make this thinner, it'll also make it smaller and fatter will make it larger. We do not want that. So what I suggest you do is make this cylinder long by turning off uniform scale and making your Z super long. Now you'll see it punches out in front of and behind the model. Now with the tube being so long, you can go ahead and turn uniform scaling back on. And this will allow you to grab this corner and proportionately shrink this tube to make it smaller. You can see it still went into his head, but that's okay. I can turn uniform scaling back off and just make it long again. And now look, we have a nice small cylinder piercing the poor dog's head. Of course, there are other ways to go about resizing, but this is an easy way that I like to do it. Returning back to move by pressing M or clicking on this move icon. You can then position that small hole where you'd like it. I'm gonna put it right by his brow. Make sure there's enough material, of course, for that hole to be made without having a weak surface above it. And when you're happy with what you've got, simply press the preview button or slice plate. Clicking on the preview button will automatically slice the plate and switch you to preview. And here you go. You now have a hole inside your doggo's head. 
in this particular application, we can go ahead and add a little loop to it and use this little doggy as a Christmas ornament. Certainly, many of you will have different uses for hulls. This is just one of them, and I just wanted to demonstrate how to go ahead and do it. While you are here, you can go ahead and right click and add more negative parts, such as a cube, a sphere, or even a disc. A disc can be a surprisingly useful tool as it allows you to make a slot in your model. And then go ahead and press preview or slice plate. And you will see you now have a square cut out of the poor dog, a hole in the belly, and we've made a slot in the ear. All of these things can be super useful for you creative types. Let's remove all of that junk and print our little doggo, put a loop on him, and I will hang him on my Christmas tree. I will use printer Zoe, named after my oldest daughter. I'm going to send it to Green PLA, and of course, we are going to make a time lapse. <laughs> And here it is. As you can see, we have printed a little hole in our doggy's head. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little hook to it. And hang it on my Christmas printer. Christmas printer. Christmas printer. And hang it on my Christmas printer. Hey.